Welcome to my tutorial on how to paint traditional blue plasma. So before you start the steps of painting this plasma, I do encourage you to paint the gun casing before we begin. So the first step to painting our plasma coils is to put in a base coat of gray sear, just so our blue base has a real nice sort of bright color to go down on. So all you're gonna do is try your best to be as neat as possible and just paint in the whole plasma coil area. I'll do this step, this will take two coats and then we will come back. So with the two coats of gray sear dry, your plasma should look something like this. The next step we're going to take Araman blue to layer paint. So thin this down a little bit and we're going to paint the whole coil blue. This will be this will be two coats as well. So again, we're just going to base the whole area. I'll do the two layers and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like. With the two layers of Araman Blue, this is how your plasma should look. The next step, we're going to thin down the Araman Blue we just used. So you're probably going to look at maybe one part Araman Blue to four parts Lamian Medium or water. And then we're going to glaze around the area the plasma is. Now, if it if it is a bit too thin, like it just was then, just add a touch more of your actual Araman Blue to it. The idea here is to add a slight OSL. We're not doing anything extreme here. So you just wanna work your way around the whole area. And we're just gonna try and add a small, small glow This doesn't have to be super neat, but you just don't want it to be solid. I'll complete this and then we'll come back. With the glaze finished and dried, it should look something similar to this. The next step is to add some Baroth blue to the actual plasma coils themselves. So don't load your brush up a lot here because all we're going to try and do is hit the tip of those coils which is quite hard on camera so I'll try my best so you're gonna hit every single top of the coil like that I'll do the rest of them and then I'll show you what it looks like with the plasma coils highlighted your gun should look something like this the next step is to get the Baroth blue that we just used and now we're going to add an edge highlight to the surrounds of the plasma so this is this is not thinned down like a glaze it's an actual highlight and all you're going to do is try and hit this part that surrounds the coils and then up around here just had a little bit of barrel blue go into the dark area so I'll have to touch that up but I'll do this part and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's tidied up with that step done and the tidy ups done we are up to the last step and the final step is to just add a dot of blue horror to the very tip of the coils so this area here and you just want to sort of make a line of dots just like that so I'll do the other side and then we'll come back and do a little review with the blue horror dots added you have completed the plasma so it should look something like this it's a very traditional sort of plasma no massive OSL, but this is the way I like to 
paint my plasma. I think it complements my models quite well. So this can be painted with Chaos Marines in an orange as well, just using the same sort of method, but with oranges, reds, and yellows. Hopefully you've found this tutorial helpful and I'll keep working on some more.